breathe in and press forward and again breathe in press forward breathe in press forward and again push so lift to your heart press forward from the chest big deep breath so we're going to use hand weights for our standing pilates make sure you have them close and then add in this lovely soothing warm-up just to get your brain in gear warm up the muscles especially around the arms and the legs and warm up your breath really set the intention here to exercise here to focus on our bodies good so drop the hands and then climb up to the ceilings if you're taking that morning stretch and drop deep into your legs so let's do that again up morning stretch and lower couple more i love that that looks so good open up and lower and then put those two breathing sequences together heart push floor ceiling and lower heart press ceiling lower good you can feel your body waking up Ceiling, breathe in and let go. Do one more. Press up to the ceiling, lower. So shift your weight side to side. Let's go a little deeper into our legs. You want to take your legs a little further? Wrap your hands around your waist. Drop your shoulders and let your breath go perfect that's good so get this time go over to the right and pause and then the other side pause let's do that one more time each side hand to shoulder chest to thigh lift hand to shoulder chest to thigh and lift beautiful drop the hands breathe in heart push forward drop lift to the ceiling and lower breathe in heart push forward lift to the ceiling and lower do that one more time heart and press and ceiling and lower so now shift side to side, warm your thighs. And take it a little deeper, go a little lower. Fabulous. Now hold on that side. Bring your hand to your shoulder and pause. And climb up, breathe in. Hand to shoulder, pause. And breathe in. One more time, both sides, hand to shoulder, down you go deep into the legs can you take your chest below your thigh climb up breathe in perfect i want you to step your foot in and push to the side open up and let's do that on the other side step the foot in and press to the side good breathe in and press i'm going to keep my legs wide now sorry I'm going to change the move <laughs> so breathe in and press just want to get used to the arms and the breath breathe in and press can you feel that ripple of your breath yeah good so there's your breath in and then let your breath ripple out and it's a great way to extend your breath lengthen your breath 
Perfect. Make your muscles more pliable, warmer as you breathe. Good. Now I'll do the tricky move of stepping your foot in. So step in, yes, and press and pause, and now circle. Take the leg wide and hold that deep, powerful squat. Step in, breathe out, push, let the arms go. Take the leg wide, hold the powerful squat. Breathe in, ripple the breath, let it flow out. Lift the knee if you feel comfortable and step wide. Amazing, breathe in, push, circle and step wide. That is fantastic, let's do a couple more. Lift the knee if you're feeling strong and go wide. Other side. Press, circle, and go wide. One more, both sides. So start to lift the knee a little higher. Start to make the circle a little bolder. Start to make the squat a little bigger. Other side, press. Let the arms go, lift the knee a little higher. Hold, open the arms, drop to the floor, straight down, find your elbows. Breathe in, lift. Open, drop to the floor. Find your elbows, feel that lift in your heart. Let those endorphins, those happy hormones, serotonin, flush out the cortisol. Big breath in, stretch. Good, one more. Oh, I'm getting very carried away this morning. <laughs> that must be the sun. Hold at the top. So bring the hands down. Step in, lift the knee, sorry was that a bit quick, circle and take the leg wide. Step in, press, circle and take the leg wide. Let's do that a couple more times. Lift. How are you feeling? You're feeling really confident with this move. What about lifting your heel? <gasps> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Let's try it one more on the other side. So step in and press, so knees high. Can you lift the heel, even if it's just for a moment? And then circle and go wide. You'll find that one side is a bit easier than the other. Most of us are like that. So go wide. Let's take it back to those and drop into the floor. Drop by the elbows, lift to the sky. Blue skies, drop. Lift, look up, imagine you've got that blue sky in your thoughts. Good. One more. Lovely. Bring the hands down and step the feet in. Take one leg and cross it round the other. And your body will twist. So your job is to anchor your hips forward. Beautiful. Bring the hands above you. Cross at the wrists, turn the palms in and link the fingers and then sink down. Take the foot further and further behind you, but keep hooking the hips forward. Magnificent. Pull the tummy in, take the leg wide and let's do that on the other side. So the leg goes wide, it crosses over, the big toe hooks as much as you can. Some of you are much better at this than me, especially Ma, you're brilliant at this. Hook that big toe round, square off the hips, lift your chest, marvellous. Take the leg wide and then release. Release the shoulders, roll the shoulders and bring the arms up, up onto your toes, good, and a baby back bend. So three options. Option one is just arms. Option two, lifting the heels. Option three, baby back bend. I'm gonna stay on my toes and come upright and then take the arms, palms down and tip forward. Push your bottom back and reach your fingers out to the side. Squeeze and activate your upper back. Good, feel the energy in your legs. Bend the knees. Climb back up, palms up, straighten the legs, yes, good, brilliant, squeeze your 
bum, baby back bend, squeeze, squeeze. Now bring the arms directly above your shoulders. Bend the knees to tip forward. Imagine that you're a right angle. Fingers line up with hips. Hips line up with heels. Give me more. Stretch further, longer, open. Bend the knees. Lift your arms. Good. Okay, straighten the legs. Palms face me. Squeeze your bum. Baby back bend. Lovely. Land the heels. Step the foot out. Lift the top arm. Palm stretches to the ceiling, hips to the front, and then turn your head and see if you can touch the floor. Wow, climb on up. Bend the knee and bring the hands to the knee. Nose to knee. And then back out. I so need a haircut, forgive me. <laughs> and then drop to the floor. Bring the fingers towards the floor. Marvellous, and climb up. You can do that on the other side. So bring the foot down, lift the other leg, palm up. Keep the hips square to the front. And when you feel ready, turn your head and look down to the floor. And then climb up, bend the knee. Bring the hand to the knee, nose to knee. And then back out. Top arm to the ceiling, lower to the floor. Love that. Let's go through that little sequence again. So up onto your toes, lift the arms, add the baby back bend. Good. Can you feel your whole chest opening up? Pull the arms a little further back. Fab. Well done. Bend the knees, palms down, tip forward so you're flying. Yes, straighten the legs and fly over the cliff edge. Soar, fingers reach, shoulders squeeze, bottom pushes back. Now bend the knees and lift your arms, fingers above you, and climb up into standing. <sighs> Palms face forward and go for that chest opening again. Open your chest. Yes, you simply cannot do that enough. Your body loves to open and it loves to feel that opening across the chest. Fingers point forward, bum pushes back, so now you're a right angle. You're a right angle. Arms in line with ears, bum pushes back. Bend the knees, climb up. Give me one last chest opening euphoria. Open up. Yes. Heels down, step out, let's see your balance again, lift the leg, turn your eye gaze and drop to the floor. Exceptional, well done Karen, brilliant. Drop to the floor. Then climb up a little, bend the knee, bring the nose to the knee, hug the knee, stretch the spine. Take it back out. Take the leg back out, the arm to the ceiling, look down at the floor and see where you can take this. Fantastic, let's do that on the other side. So leg goes wide, lift the leg. When you're ready, look at the floor. Keep squeezing your bum so you're not angling too far forward, well done. And then climb up a little, bend your knee, Hug, nose to knee, let me see you do that. Fantastic, and then go out. So fantastic, phenomenal balance work. Really keeping the integrity, the strength of your joints. I love that, thank you. Beat hip distance. Hands, palms, one facing forward, one facing down. Take it into toy soldier. Glide from one move into the other. So more chest opening, more release, more breath, and then add the balance. Oh, moving quickly. I know. Lift the knee. Lift the knee so it's in line with the hip and notice what's going on in your body. You have to pull your tummy in more. You have to soothe and lengthen your breath. 
a little more because if you are in tune with your breath, you're in tune with your body. And if you're in tune with your breath and your body, your balance is so much better. Test yourself. Give me two with your eyes closed. Take your time. Notice the effect that it has on your thoughts. Do you go into inner critic or do you have peace and calm with your thoughts? Are you patient and kind with yourself? And then open your eyes and let's make this a little harder. Open your eyes, arms out to the side, knee out to the side. Take the foot behind, bend the supporting knee. <gasps> knee comes up as high as your hand and then come forward. Let's do that on the other side. Big breath in, lift. Take the knee out and the arms out. Take the foot behind, bend the supporting knee. How deep can you go? Bring the knee up. Come forward and lower. Let's do that with hand weights. Pick up the hand weights, have some water. And start off very simple. Hands out in line with your shoulders, palms facing down, one arm up. Center, other arm up. Good. So you like to keep your body still. Do three more, close your eyes, and notice the top arm coming right over your shoulder. We've talked about the integrity of your lower limbs. Now think about the integrity and the strength of your upper body. Keep your shoulder and fingers in line. Perfect. Add on. Add on the knee lift. Hands to the centre, add on the knee lift. Calm and soothing, strong and powerful. And all those things that we did in the first move, breath, focus, awareness, they're more relevant now than ever. Lift. Good, one more of these on each side lift. So I've got 1.5 kilogram weight, you might want to go higher or lower, it's up to you. Lift the knee and pause. Open the arms and the knee and pause. Now keep the arms open as the heel goes behind you and bend your supporting knee. Lift the knee high, bring the knee forward. Good. Other side, breathe in. Open. Hold, take the leg behind, keep the arms open, bend the supporting knee, lift the knee and come forward. Two more, breathe in. Powerful arms, strong posture, powerful breath, good balance. Lift the knee a little higher. Every time, challenge yourself a little bit more. Out you go, bend the knee, good, lift and come forward. One last one and we'll change the move. Lift the knee, out you go. Bend the knees, let's go a little deeper this time. Come on, challenge yourself, lift the knee higher please. Good, come forward and lower, other side, big breath in. Open the arms, take the leg behind, pause if you can lift the leg a little higher, good, lift the knee a little higher and rest. Bring your hands, both of them, to your heart, bring your feet hip distance, push your bottom low and stretch up. Bring your bottom low and stretch up. So all that lovely baby back bends we did at the beginning are paying dividends now. Your back is supple. You squeeze your bum. Perfect. And using the hand weights will make the stretch bigger. Bear that in mind. Heels down. Good. Heels down, toes slightly lifted. Keep the heels on the floor 
as you reach over to one side. Oh. Keep the heels down as you do that. On the other side. Good. Keep going. Drop. Hands to heart. Lift. Over you go. Drop. Hands to heart. Lift. Over you go. Let's have two more. Keep it like this. This is your level one. Soft knees. Okay, so don't lock the knees. Keep the knees slightly soft. Keep the heels on the floor. One more. Climb up, breathe in. Exhale. Go over. Drop. Climb. Over. So we're going to drop and pulse. Down you go, hold, five, four. Just check your toes and your knees are aligned. And then we'll lift and lean and stretch the opposite leg. Make sure you're facing forward. Now I want you to lift the knee and bring the hands to the knee. Yes, good, and then go up, that's one. Let's do it again. Lift the knee, hands to knee. That's two. Lift the knee a little higher. Do it again. That's three. <sighs> Fabulous. Add in the strength and the control of the breath. Let the breath go. And give me five more. You've got a lovely, soft, pace so keep that going keep that soft slow pace going three more it's powerful it's strong good so i want you to bring your foot to the floor give me five pulses when both feet are firm on the floor bottom pushes back and then climb up and do that on the other side. So extend the leg, make sure you're facing forward, lift the knee and slowly and accurately bring your hands to your knee and then out you go. Bend the knee, hands to knee and out you go. Bend the knee, breathe out and lift and stretch, yes. Bend the knee, hands to knee, lift and stretch. Four more. Bend the knee, lift and stretch. Good, bend the knee. So I'm often asked the difference between yoga and Pilates and I think this says it all. <laughs> Pilates is exercise. Exercise to make your muscles stronger, but like Pilates, like yoga, it's slow. So bring your feet hip distance, pulse down for five. It's mindful, it's thoughtful, and it's considered. So I'd like you to lift to the ceiling, over to the side, extend the leg, but this time open the arms, palms up. Lift the leg, and lift the leg higher with the arms. One, wow, good. Two, that's fantastic. Upright if you can. Three, four, so keep your body upright. That's it, don't lean over. Five, bend the supporting knee, keep going. Six, can you lift the leg a little higher? Seven, eight, nine, and 10, come into the middle, feet hip distance. Give me five little pulses at the bottom just so you can get your breath back before we do that on the other side. So lift and side, but open the arms, lift the leg and off you go. One, bend the supporting knee. Two, little bend in the knee. Breathe out, three, can you lift the leg a little higher? Four, magnificent. Five. Six, I love this work. 
seven. So your core right now is holding you still. It's keeping you centered. So you're working your arms and your legs, but you're also working your core. Come into the middle, feet hip distance, and hold here to pulse. Five, four, three, two, climb up. Send the leg wide, send the arms open as you just have, but this time you're going to stay static. Keep the arms static and bend the knee. One, yes. Two, one-legged squat. Three, four, five, six. Arms are open, seven, chest up, eight, nine, ten. Good, come into the middle, feet hip distance. Pulse, five, four, three, two, one, climb up. Open to the side, straight arms, hips facing forward, bend the knee, one, two, three, four, fantastic work, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine and ten that's incredible hands to heart so you've done leg work five pulses you've done arm work fantastic so i'm going to bring both arms up above you turn the palms to me and lower so hands come up through the midline open the arms so now you're working through your shoulder Hands together, up through your midline, up to the ceiling, palms face forward. How do the shoulders work with that? Does it feel a bit crunchy? Do you need to put your hand weights down? It's fine. Just be in tune with your body. So I'm going to do five more. I'm going to concentrate on my feet, bizarrely. <laughs> Keeping my feet firm to the floor, my knees bent. And then I'm monitoring my range. Am I able to get my arms completely in line with my ear? Am I allowed to take my arms all the way out? Will my body stop me, prevent me, hinder because there's blocks, there's tension? Let's do that the other way round. So I'm going to come up to your heart space and drop and then lift. <gasps> Feel the difference? Down, down, down in front, palms to your side, lift to the ceiling and notice the difference that that feels in the shoulders. Palms forward, up to the ceiling, palms in and lower. Most of us have a little issue, block, restriction somewhere in our body and it's fine. Pilates is here to find those issues, okay? Full range of movement will help us to notice what's going on so that we can do something about it. <laughs> we can go and visit our favourite osteopath, physio, chiropractor, remedial massage, you name it, you do it. So I'm going to leave my arms down by my side palms facing in, and then reach to the side. Keep your feet on the floor. Reach to the side, work on your waist. Look at your hand as it reaches. Great, fantastic, standing Pilates workout, love it. Hand underneath armpit, reach away. Breathe out. So your lower body is really, really still. And now I'd like you to take it to that side and pulse. Give me 10. 10, look down at your arm, 9, 8, 7. Keep the feet on the floor. Make your head comfortable. So look down the arm. And then climb up and do that on the other side. Slowly, let the body recover. 10, 9, 8, 7. Hips to the front. Make sure that you're feeling this in the waist. Opening one side, squeezing the other. One more time. Breathe out. 10, 9, 8, 7. Come up to the middle, breathe in. And over you go. 10, 
nine hip square so have a tendency to lean back so make sure both chest and hips are facing the front good let's finish this section off with your hands together and rotate <gasps> what's happening to your knees focus on your knees bend your knees this is not a knee twisting exercise there's no such thing as a knee twisting exercise no knee twisting is horrible keep your knees still keep your pelvis still there is an exercise that's waist rotation we don't call it twisting twisting sounds sore <laughs> So you keep the hips forward and feel this in your waist. Magnificent. Bring your hands, I like this bit, bring your hands so your elbows are in line with your shoulders and continue to rotate through your waist. Magnificent. I promise this is the last exercise and we'll move on. Come to the center, push up. Excellent, didn't see that coming. Now rotate. And open your arms, open them far, bend the elbows, centre, push up, bend the elbows, turn, open the arms, full extension, open, bend the elbows, to the centre, push up, yes, send your body to one direction, open the arms, centre and lift up. Would you like to add a balance to this move? No, not really Adele at all you don't have to you can stay with this level but if you're feeling good do you remember the warm-up do you remember when we lifted the knee let's try it here okay let's swap knees turn and open so you're moving in the direction of the bent knee push up good so I'm going to swap knees turn open Bend, centre, lift, swap knees. Good, let's add on again. Turn, open for five. One, yeah, good. Two, three, four. Can you hold your balance? Five, now come forward, five to the ceiling. One, two, and as you do that, swap knees. Three, good. Smooth, four, five, so we swap knees, turn, turn, turn to the knee, turn to that side, open, one, open, two, open, three, looking good, four, you're looking so good, I'd love to reward you with one last time, face the front, push up, one, breathe out, push up, two, swap legs, slowly does it, Three, this is about your balance. Do you want to bring your foot forward or do you want to hook your big toe behind your knee? You choose, turn. Turn towards the leg, rotate, open, one. Open, two. Open, three. Fully extend your arms, four, that's it. Five, bend the elbows, face the front. This is the last time, push up, one. As you do that, swap legs, two, you can hook the toe to the knee or bring the foot forward, three, four, look at me multitasking, counting, talking and turning, <laughs> it can all go horribly wrong, turn to the side, open, one, this is the last set, come on, two, fully extend the arm, three, fantastic, turn the body more, four, five and you're done face the front push up one put the feet on the floor two fantastic shake out those legs three four and five so bring the arms all the way down bring your hands to the front of your thighs bring the hands the hand weights to the floor and just shake out the arms circle one way oh, release the tension and circle the other now bring the hands to the floor or to the top of your knees. Bend and straighten so that you stretch the back of the legs. Let your head drop. Good. Now I'd like you to cross your right leg over your left and see where that takes you. Can you touch the floor? Or do you need to rest your hands on your thigh? I want you to bend and straighten again. See if you can get into that ligament tendon, hamstring, calves, 
anything that you feel pulling, drop the head and then swap and do that on the other side. Okay, so bend and lengthen, bend and lengthen. Marvellous work. I'd like you to keep your feet like that and draw up through your body and take the, this right leg behind, so right arm in the air and lean over and hold the wrist, hold the wrist, press the heel down, good, now do that on the other side, hold the wrist, good, press the heels down, marvellous, swap legs, so the other leg goes across, Go away from the leg, so it's the left arm in the air, and it doesn't matter because you're going to swap. That's fantastic. So we'll have some water. Well done. Pick up your water, have some water, shake out your legs. Fantastic.